the series of learning programming in C, we are discussing about control statements in C. We have already discussed if statement, if else statement and a nested if statement in my previous videos in detail with some examples and programs and uh, the, their uh, general, their syntax and their structure using the flowchart, right? So now in this video, I'll talk about else if letter. Everything about else if letter, this is also known as else if statement, right? So everything about this else if letter will be discussed in this video with the help of a flow chart means the working of this else if letter with the help of flow chart, the general syntax and how to use this thing in a program and what kind of mistakes you can do when you write else if letter in your program and uh, the working of this thing with the help of a program and we will see the output of that program also. So everything we will discuss about this else if letter. So now let us discuss about else if letter or you can say else if statement. It is you can say uh, use, it is used to test multiple cases or it is known as multi-path decision. It is used to take multi-path decision. Now what does this mean? First of all, uh, see the syntax of this else if letter. How to write this in a program? We will write if, okay, if I am writing condition, condition 1 suppose, right? And if this condition is true, then suppose this statement would be executed. Suppose statement 1 I am writing here, right? After that you will write else and if we will write another condition suppose I am writing here condition 2 and if this is true then what statement 2 would be executed again else if condition 3 and if this is true then statement 3 would be executed see here I am not putting curly braces because I am considering that this is only a single statement if you write here block of statement, then you can write down curly braces, curly braces, curly braces, curly braces here. And you have to write down curly braces for multiple statements, right? Otherwise, what error you will get that I have already discussed in the previous videos, right? Up to n, you can write down multiple conditions. Else, if uh, I'm writing here, what? Condition n. And for this statement n, if this is true, statement n would be executed, right? And after that, else and here uh, after every condition suppose this is end of conditions after that a default you can say else would be there there uh, we will consider a default statement that would be executed if neither this or nor these conditions are true means um, none of this condition is true then this would be executed default statement right and after this if else if else if letter see else if letter this is else if letter right i am writing what uh, Suppose statement x. See this statement x, this is not part of this else if letter. This is part of a program. So this would be executed if none of the condition is true. Right. So now you can relate it with a real life example. Suppose you ask a girl to ask for outing. And the condition is what you ask? If you are free the whole day, we can go to the movie, then lunch and then dinner. Bhi kar sakte hai. And she, uh, she said no. So if you are free the whole day, free ho, we can go for movie and lunch only. Right. And she said no. Okay. If two hours free, we can go for coffee. And she said no. Else, what can you say? For 10 minutes, we can get 10 minutes. What can we get? Right. This kind of thing. So, there are what? Multiple cases. You, have, you are putting multiple conditions. Based on that, some actions would be performed. Right. So, now I hope you can relate this thing with uh, the else if scenario. Else if letter. So, now let me draw a flow, flow chart for this thing. This is the sequential flow of execution of the program. Now first we got first condition. Suppose this condition is true. Statement 1 would be executed. Right? And no other conditions would be checked if this first condition is true. Finally, you will get what? That uh, to, to that statement. Statement x. Fine. Suppose this is false. Condition 1 is false. So now second condition. Else if means pura din wo ladki free nahi hai to means second condition agar wo 4 ya 5 ghante ke liye free hai now check the second condition if this condition is true then statement 2 would be executed in case this is false then next condition means 2 ghante ke liye free hai ya nahi hai condition 3 would, would be checked if this condition is true two cases can be there true or false if this is true means statement 3 would be executed in case this is false like this you can check multiple conditions right 
and after that suppose I am writing here what uh, at last condition n I hope you can see this this is up to condition n and if this is true then statement n would be executed and if this is all this is false condition n is also false the last condition is also false then what would be executed the else uh, block and at the last we have written what default statement in else block so now that would be executed default statement here ds means default statement right and after this if statement 1 execute if this 2 3 after execution of statement n or even if after the default what statement would be executed statement x because that is part of a program that was not part of this else if letter so ultimately that would be executed statement x over here you can write statement abc or any kind of anything you can write according to your convenience so after each thus the statement would be executed so now i hope you got the working of this thing using this flow chart the uh, working of else if letter and the condition would be checked always from top to bottom first of all this condition then second then third up to n from top to bottom right as soon as a true condition found that uh, statement associated to the true block of that statement would be executed and after that the, the control will directly go to the statement x right skipping all the other conditions if this condition is true then directly statement 2 would be executed and control will go here these conditions would not be checked right so now let me discuss it with the help of a program so now let us take this program I want if your marks are greater than 80 it means uh, grade is A your grade is A marks greater than 70 then and uh, less than this 80 then grade is B greater than 60 marks less than 70 then C grade otherwise you will get D grade and finally it will print end of program right. So now see when you run this program you will include the header file also then on the output screen it will ask enter marks. I am taking here integer but marks would be in float you can take float here and percentage F here right. Now marks suppose you are entering here 80 now what output you will get see first of all it will check the first condition if marks greater than 80 marks greater than 80 no marks are 80 only so now it will not execute this thing see I am not printing I am not writing any curly braces because, because for this if I am just writing a single statement so no need to write down curly braces if you are printing like printf you entered you have entered percentage D marks and you are printing marks and in next line you are printing your grade is A means two lines you are printing or more than one line you are printing then you have to put those statements into curly braces I am not putting any curly braces here right. So now it will not go here it will check the second condition if marks greater than 70 marks greater than 70 yes so it will print what B grade see here you can ask this question do you need to write here marks greater than 70 and less than 80 because this would be executed for marks greater than 70 and what less than and equal to 80 no you do not need to write that second condition why because if marks are greater than 80 then ultimately this block would be executed suppose marks are 81 so marks greater than 80 so this block would be executed so the program will skip all the other statements and finally it will print grade is A and after that it will skip all the other conditions and it will directly print end of program because this is not a part of this else if letter right. So no need to write down here that is why the second condition it will it will ultimately uh, if marks are greater than 80 it will ultimately uh, check this condition this condition is true and it will print uh, grade A right. So now this in this case if 80 then it would be printed now suppose marks I am entering here. Uh, 45 first this condition would be checked this is false so it will not enter here second condition would be checked greater than 70 this is false so it will not enter here third condition would be checked greater than 60 this is also false so it will not enter here now finally else block if none of the condition is true then this else block would be executed so finally it will print d grade and after that it will print end of program so if none of the condition is true in that case this else block would be executed and after that whatever the, the statements uh, that those are not part of this else if letter those would be executed right and if you put here semicolon then it will give error you can check out this thing also right and 
other than this if you want to put curly braces then the, that also you can write down like after if you can put curly braces here after else also what how you can write down this else if you can write down simply else right after that else block we will be starting with curly braces after that you can write down this if and marks greater than 70 and here you can print b grade for this if this is opening and this is closing right then within this after this we have another else and again you can start this and this if you can write down like if marks greater than 60 again you can put curly braces c grade you can close curly braces like this you can write down so you can write down here something like this and after that you can write down end of program why i'm not writing like this because see if you are checking for this this is what i'm printing a single statement so you can remove these curly braces for this else also i'm just printing grade d so you can remove this curly braces right and this if else for this else I am putting these curly braces so for this else if and else within this I am writing if else right if else is considered as a single statement so if single statement then no need to put curly braces so you can remove the curly braces of this else also right now for this else here I am writing within this if one statement so you can remove this and this if and else right this is what a complete one statement this if else so you can remove this curly braces also. So you can remove all the curly braces and uh, if you do some formatting then rather than writing something like this you can simply write else and this if here only but you have to put space between these else and if otherwise it will give error right because this is another this is a keyword and this is another keyword that is why I am not putting any curly braces and I am simply writing like this right now I hope you got the working of this else if statement. Uh, so the one one question for you is or you can say one assignment for you is you have to make a program suppose I am entering a number or anything like I can enter from A to Z small letter capital letters and uh, uh, 0 to 9 numbers or any special character anything you can enter you have to take input from the user and you have to tell the entered number is the entered thing is uppercase lowercase letter or a number or a uh, that special character how you will check this thing you have to uh, write down this program and you can tell me in comment box you have done or not and if you are finding any uh, difficulty in uh, this program in writing this program then you can ask me in comment box or you can send me after writing a program you can send me that program or that screenshot of that program on my instagram account also right so that's it for this also and uh, see one more thing it's not like that you have to write down this else it is not compulsory to write down this else here you can skip this also but for every else there should be an if uh, statement but you can skip else statement so if you don't write this else statement then also you can check what output you will get if you uh, enter this 45 this condition is not true this is not true this is not true so this else you are not writing so finally it will print what only end of program it will not print any grade that is also fine uh, right so now, now rather than this else if this thing you can also do with some other control statement that is switch this is also used to check multiple cases so this switch statement i'll be discussing in next video right either you can write down this else if or at the place of this else if you can do this program with the help of the switch statement also right so now i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye take care